Samsung or Apple, it's one of the tech world's hottest rivalries. The iPhone is user-friendly. I like all the features. I use Samsung uh, Galaxy Plus. The Android system is much better than uh, the uh, iOS. I like iPhone because of the camera, but I like Samsung's other technology. Samsung's share of the global smartphone market surpassed Apple's in 2011 and grew to nearly 32 percent in 2012, according to estimates from Bernstein Research. All those smartphone sales driving a 76 percent gain in profits for the last quarter, while profits at Apple were nearly flat. Samsung has attracted customers with a variety of phones at different price points. I think the key thing is breadth of products which has enabled them to enjoy the profits of the premium end, but also the scale and volume of the low end. That strategy has paid off in emerging markets like China, where it has trounced the competition. In China, the cheapest iPhone, the 4, will cost you roughly $500. Samsung's top-of-the-line Galaxy 3 is more than that, but its cheapest smartphone is just $193. They've also innovated, putting out high-end phones with new features that help attract traditional iPhone customers. On the hardware side, Samsung really is the leader. You know, I think they're far, far ahead, and the gap is closed on the software. Apple is expected to rise to the challenge. The biggest concern that we have in 2013 is Apple's ability to address the emerging smartphone market. Currently, they don't have a product in that space. We expect them to have something by mid to late this year, but if they don't do that, that's going to be a problem for earnings growth. 2013 is likely to be a tough year for both carriers. Global smartphone growth is expected to slow, and Samsung warns of, quote, intensified competition. Not just from old rival Apple, but some new upstarts with Chinese smartphone makers hoping 2013 could be their breakout year.